Hi everyone, hope life is treating you well, and today I have made a quick and basic tutorial on setting up the popular karaoke app, Smule, to work on your PC with any microphone and a camera if you have one. If you're also a streamer or someone looking to be able to incorporate Smule into your OBS studio, I will also give an explanation on setting that up towards the end. I need to preface this by saying that not every device will be compatible with certain aspects of the emulator we'll be using for Smule. For example, I know that there used to be compatibility issues when trying to use integrated cameras on devices such as laptops. This may not be the case today, but as of now I know there's still an issue with the Surface Books cameras not working with the Android emulator. Okay, let's get into setting this up. First, you'll need to Google Bluestacks and go onto their website, you'll see the download link straight away. You can use the Bluestacks 5 beta in blue here, but for now I recommend 4 as while I was testing Bluestacks 5 I could not get the camera to work but had no issue with the current 4th build. Once that's downloaded and installed, open Bluestacks and you might be prompted to sign in either before or after clicking the Play Store. You can tie your current Google account you use for your phone, but bear in mind your Smule account can be different. And if you didn't sign in on the right account in the first go, I'll go over how to reset that. Search for Smule like you would on your phone and download it. On the bottom right here you'll find the Bluestacks settings. I've left mine basically entirely unchanged. In the display settings, for the sake of Smule, you'll probably want to use portrait mode. There's a few different modes for display resolution, and I don't think these make much of a difference, but for the sake of keeping it similar to a phone resolution, I've chosen 720x1280. In the device settings, you can choose different phone models for Bluestacks to emulate. I didn't experience any difference when changing between a couple. And lastly, I've left the rest of my settings untouched except turning off notifications because they can get annoying. And you can check for updates in the About section. If you've found that you've logged into the Ron Smule account and you can't log out again, go into the settings of Bluestacks, click Apps, Find Smule, go into Storage and click Clear Data. This will reset the app and you can log in again. Once you've logged into Smule, you can try a son or a duet. You won't need to allow your location, but you'll need to allow microphone and webcam, depending on what you'll be using. There I am. There'll be a number of video effects you can choose that also come with different vocal effects, which the majority of are reverb and smoothing. The most important part of using video is to click the camera icon to flip the camera once. You need to do this otherwise, currently, it comes out upside down. As you can see the camera looks squeezed, but this is currently normal and still records fine for the end result. You might have seen it pop up for a second there, but Bluestacks Smule for me, and possibly everyone else, doesn't recognise that headphones are plugged in. The only thing this changes is that you can't record or join group songs, as it won't allow you to save it, as a countermeasure to people who record without headphones, as background noise would build up with each join otherwise. Oh, the irony, I hear you say, considering you're likely to have a better recording quality than most using headphones. But it is what it is, and it might be fixed one day. The visuals don't apply while recording, but will be there once you've saved it and are choosing your effects. I recommend picking the effect you'll want before you record, as in post, sometimes the effects seem to glitch out a bit, which you might come across when switching between them. As I've demonstrated here, when you don't flip the camera before recording, it seems to put you upside down, so try to remember or notice if the recording is mirroring you, otherwise you'll spend 5 minutes just to delete it afterwards. The same applies if you record singing and then layer a video over it if you prefer to lip sync. As for microphones, Bluestacks works off of what you set as your default mic in the Windows sound settings. The headphones you can change while on Smule, but you may have to restart Bluestacks if you change recording inputs. As for those interested in getting it into OBS and their streams, there is a streaming mode in the top of Bluestacks for a cleaner view and it counts as a separate window so you can mess with the settings without it showing on stream. You'll want to choose a scene and then select Window Capture, name it what you like and look for Bluestacks. Position it where you like, next to chat or your camera or covering your part of your camera like mine. If you wish to have it behind your overlay, you could even upload a nice phone shaped frame in stream elements or whatever your program of choice is. 
Now, I'm in no regards a pro or have much stream handling equipment, so at the moment everything that's outputting to what I have set as my audio capture on OBS will be what the audience hears. This is except the monitoring I have on the current free software I'm using called Reaper, which allows for some vocal and piano effects if you have a keyboard you can connect to your PC. Once you've set this up, you should check your OBS volume levels for the music playing and how loudly your microphone is coming through, so that your singing is around the same level as the music, maybe a couple decibels more at most. If you also want these spectralizer bars that I have on the screen now, you'll be able to find it on Google and it pretty much installs itself. Once you've inserted it, you can change color, thickness, responsiveness, and so on. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope it was enough to help set up Smule. Any other questions, leave a comment on this video here or pop by when I'm playing or doing some singing on the stream. Link below. Thanks for stopping by.